In this video I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to draw sine and cosine graphs in Excel. And the way to do it is to just come up with a load of X points and find the sine and the cosine of those points. And you want to have quite a lot of X points because if you have too few, Excel will just fill in junk, sort of some random curve between those two points. But if you have a very small gap between the points, the curve will look very smooth. So I'll start from scratch so you can see what's going on. So I've got your points x, I'm going to find the sine of x and the cosine of x. So we'll start at 0 and we'll go to 2 pi and we'll go up in pi over 16 which is a small enough increment. So select the third row and then in that cell put equals that's how you start a formula in Excel. And select the cell above, then plus pi, which is pi, and you put two brackets after it, and then divided by 16 equals. Or you press enter to do that. And then select the cell that we've just filled in, copy it, so I press control C and then paste that into all the cells down to 34 and just press control V or paste and you'll notice at 34 you get 6.28 that's 2 pi 2 times 3.14 which is where we want to stop and then in the sine column we'll put equals and select the 0 and we want in there we want sine and put brackets around A2. Press enter. Ah, you don't want an E. It's sine, S I N. That's the function. So I copy that and then paste that in all of the column. And exactly the same thing for the cosine column. Put in cos. COS, then the brackets, and select A2 again, press enter, and then copy all of these through all of the rows. So we've now generated all of the values, and these values look reasonable, because when x is 0, you know that sine is 0 and cosine is 1. So just graph these, so select these two columns, all of the values and you can select X and sign at the top that will just give your graph labels go into insert scatter and you want to select this one here this will draw you a curve and there's your sine graph to get the cosine graph just click off that you want to highlight this column and you want also to highlight C. So you can select these at the top and it'll just highlight the entire row. And hold down control and select cosine. Insert, the same sort of graph, there's a cosine. And just move that out of the way. And there you have your sine and cosine graphs. And you can also have a graph with both on, just highlight everything. And press insert scatter and the line and there you have all of your graphs that you want